Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel Engineering Network. Today I will talk about different types of staircase that are commonly used in building construction. I will talk about the importance of each type of staircase and I will discuss which type you can select in a particular condition that you will face in the construction of a building. So today video is going to be very interesting and important one for all the fresh civil engineers. So watch it till the end. Before we start please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon and never miss a video from engineering network. Ok so the types of stairs used in building construction is broadly based on the shape or layout of the stairs and there is different types of stairs that are commonly used in a building construction. Some of them are following straight flight stair, L shaped stair, half turn stair, geometrical stair, circular stair, bifurcating stair. So these are the most commonly used types of staircase and now I will try to explain each and every type separately. So let's first start with the straight staircase. The stair which rises from one floor to another in one direction is called straight staircase. It is also called single flight staircase because it only provides one flight but it can be constructed with more than one landings depending on the size of the staircase and height between two floors. Generally for small houses available width is very retractable. So the straight stairs are used in such conditions which run straight between two floors. Second type of staircase that I will explain is the L shaped staircase. The stair which turns through 90 degree either to the left or to the right as it rises to connect two different level is called L shaped staircase. It is constructed by providing a wide quarter landing but if the turn space is small then instead of wide landing it is provided with vendors. L shaped stairs are used for a variety of reasons. Primarily because they are more visually appealing. In addition they tends to take up less space and can be used in the corner of a room. For some people they are also easier to navigate because of the wider landing that breaks up the flight of the stair. Next type of staircase is the half turn stair. A stair which turn through 180 degree is called half turn stair. It is further classified into two types. One is dog leg stair and the second is open newel stair. First let us understand about dog leg stair. It is very common and popular type of stairs and is used in public as well as residential buildings. It consists of two flights running in opposite directions separated by a half space landing or a quarter space landing and a set of vendors with no space between the flights. This type of stair is suitable where the width of the staircase is limited and is commonly used for single or double story buildings. Now let's discuss the second type of half turn stair which is open newel stair. It is almost same as the dog leg stair but the main difference between these two is in the open newel stair there will be a big space between two flights that are going up in the opposite direction. Here someone may have asked you why it is called open newel stair. Well the answer is when the space between two flights is of rectangular shape then it will be called as open newel stair. This type of stair is suitable for multi-storied building and the well or space allows the natural lighting from the top opening. Next is the geometrical stair. A stair will be called as geometrical stair if the well or space is in curved shape between the forward and backward flights. In geometrical stair the change in direction is obtained by constructing all the stairs in vendor shape and because there is no landing in geometrical stair so it is difficult for the old aged people to use it. This type of stair are commonly used in single or double story buildings. Next one is the circular stair. The stair which are constructed in a circular shape is called circular stair. The change in direction in circular stair is obtained by providing vendors. All the steps may be supported by a newel at the center or there may be a circular well hole which will support the stair in a circular layout. This type of stair is suitable when a limited space is available for the staircase. These stairs are generally constructed either of cast iron or RCC. 
The cast iron stairs are very suitable for back door entrance as they occupy very little space. The last type of stair that are commonly used is bifurcating stair. The stair having its bottom flight wide which is divided into two narrow flights at the landing at right angles in the opposite direction is called bifurcating stair. This type of stair is suitable for public buildings, assembly halls, railway foot bridges. So these are the types of stair case that are commonly used in building construction. If you have any question or if you think I have missed any type of stair then let me know in the comment section. Hope you will like it. If yes then click on the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and never miss a video from engineering network. See you in the next video.